Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Melbourne police are defending the use of pepper rounds and rubber bullets to try and slow the movement of thousands of protesters who have brought the city to a standstill today. They've marched for a second straight day, angry at the construction shutdown and mandatory vaccinations. Chief Commissioner Shane Patton says 44 arrests have been made while three police officers were injured. These crowd control equipment uh, munitions were necessary and they are necessary because we can't allow this type of conduct to go on. It's as Victoria's COVID case numbers continue to climb, the state recording 603 new infections overnight. In New South Wales, 1,022 new cases have been recorded and a further 10 people have died, while Queensland's border bubble has burst with three LGAs in northern New South Wales now in a week-long lockdown. And dancing is back in South Australia, but only at private parties in licensed venues. Australia is now rolling out one million vaccine doses every three to four days. The nation's chief nurse, Alison McMillan, says more than 25 million doses have been administered since the start of the rollout. That incredible acceleration has just been sustained, which means we're not far off offering two million doses every week. Scott Morrison is playing down claims that the new defence alliance with the US and the UK will jeopardise Australia's free trade agreement with the EU. The issue will be top of the agenda at the PM's meeting with President Joe Biden tomorrow. There are many other factors that come into it. Tomorrow is a good opportunity to further discuss and explain the necessary decision that Australia has had to take. The PM's nephew has been sentenced to a two-year community corrections order over construction work he wasn't licensed to carry out. He's also been ordered to pay $57,000 in fines and compensation. Support for minor parties and independents is apparently on the rise. A new opinion poll shows a drop in support for Labor and the Coalition, with more voters backing One Nation and Clive Palmer's United Australia Party. Almost one in five aged care workers say they plan to leave the sector in the next 12 months, citing poor pay and stress, and NASA has announced a mission to search for ice on the South Pole of the Moon. In sport, Australia has thumped India in the opening one-day game of the summer of cricket, the girls beating India by nine wickets. Jack Silvani has re-signed with Carlton as the AFL club's search for a new coach continues, and an internal review has decided Michael Maguire will remain as coach of the West Tigers next NRL season. In entertainment news, Camilla Cabello has said to Temperatures soaring with a cheeky display in Miami. The singer snapped enjoying a day at the beach in a barely there yellow bikini. Liam Payne has listed his lavish five-bedroom mansion as he looks to make a fresh start. The One Direction star shared the home with his ex, listing the property for six and a half million pounds. And Amy Winehouse fans can get their hands on items from the late singer's wardrobe. A huge collection of dresses and accessories are being auctioned off, with all proceeds going to the Amy Winehouse. House Foundation. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.